Hey, what's up guys? Back again with another video. This time I'm going to show you how to make your pie charm really beautiful and sexy because um, a lot of you guys ask in my other videos, in my Java videos, how I make my IntelliJ idea very sexy. And it's very simple, so I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do it for pie charm since I'll be starting this new Python series. So what you want to do here is go to um, settings and then let this open up. Then you want to go to plugins and then now it's going to take you to the plugin marketplace where you can find plugins and install them. So the first plugin you want to get, or the actual only plugin you want to get for this, because it's so simple, is called Material UI. And so this is a, a Material Theme UI. And so you want to click Install, and as you can see here, it's been downloaded by 3.5 million people, so it's a very good plugin. So using third-party plugins may involve a, plen a plugin vendor processing, blah, blah, blah. Okay, that's good, so click Accept. So now it's going to download and install that for you. And once that's done, you need to restart. So let's go ahead and restart here, and I'll be right back. Alright, so as you can see here, we have this little thing that popped up. This should have popped up if you installed it correctly. And so now this is basically the wizard or, you know, installation thingy that helps you install the, the theme that you want to install, okay? It helps, you, it helps you customize it, basically, okay? So click Next, and then now you want to choose whichever theme you want to get. They're all very nice looking, um, so it's hard to choose which one you might like. Some of them might stick out more than the others. I happen to like this one, actually. I haven't done this one yet. It's actually Dracula. I don't know. So choose whatever you want to choose and then click next so you can choose the contrast. So you can either choose high contrast. So I'm going to choose high contrast because I want the colors to pop out basically. I'm assuming that's what that does. Yeah, it intensi intensifies contrast with the editor by setting the background color to darker and, light and text lighter, okay? So yeah, it's going to make it less ugly and more sexy basically what it really means, okay? So now you can choose the accent and this is basically going to be the color that shows up for anything like a scroll bar or not the scroll bar, but these little wheels right here and stuff like that and these types of things right here, right? So, um, I'm just going to go ahead and choose one. doesn't matter what you choose, really. So, I'm going to choose that one and now things will have that color, basically. You'll see, maybe. So, now, it's not that important, really. So, to click another or click next. And now, you can choose some other small details like um, the tab height and all that stuff. So, if you're not interested in this, you can just go and click next and then it's going to finish for you. So now click start using PyCharm and now it's going to open. And now as you can see here, it looks very nice. And as you can see here, it's blue. These little things are blue because I chose the accent to be blue, right? So that's why it's blue. And so you can choose if you want to show um, or share anonymous statistics. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. It really doesn't matter. And so that's really all you need to get to go uh, to get going, right? So you have this sexy looking IDE now. It looks very clean now. So if you want to make it or change the styling for some reason, you can actually go to tools and then go down here to material theme and then you can do material theme options and then you can open up the wizard all over again if you want to or the specific options you can look at or you can just choose this little thing right here and it lets you, it lets you choose all the different themes right so in case you want to change it you could do that so what I'm going to do here is also show you how to change the, the, the size of the fonts so if you want to go to file go to settings and then now go to editor and then go to let's see here go to font and so normally you would want to change it here if you don't, you know, install the material UI theme thingy plugin. But now that you're using the plugin, you want to click this right here. It's going to take you to the the edit the uh, the sizing for the plugin basically. So here's where you change what you want the how big you want the characters to be and all that fun stuff. Okay. So the reason I make it bigger is because I can see it better, but also for you guys, so you can actually read what I'm typing whenever I'm showing you how to do things in the videos. So I'm going to set it to around 16. That looks like a good amount. Then click apply, and then now as you can see here, it's bigger. I'm actually going to do bigger for you guys. So 18. Oh yeah, that's way better. Okay, so that's going to be good for y'all um, to be able to see my videos really well. But you can change it to be whatever you want to. You can leave a default if you want to. That's fine. I don't really care. You can also change the font if you want to. All kinds of cool stuff, right? So anyway, so I'm going to click cancel since I'm done. I already applied it. So now we have this big font now. And now we have this sexy IDE. And if I want to, I could change the colors of it and the styling by going here. And then choosing whatever I want. So Modakai. Now it's going to change the Modakai. It looks very ugly. So I'm going to go back to whatever I had. I don't know what I, I don't even know what I had. I had Dracula, I believe. Yeah, so it went back to Dracula and there we go. So anyway, that's how you do all of that. Hopefully you like that. It's a pretty simple video. All I did is show you how to install the material UI theme plugin and then how to change the font. But now that's how you do it, okay? So there you go. So if you like this video, leave a like. If you want to see more, subscribe and peace.